welcome to Framer Shows. Today we are going to make flounder or flounder fish or fish fillet. This is the flounder right here. So to make a flounder, this is how you do. You need eggs, all purpose flour, parmesan cheese, you need panko or breadcrumb. This is another panko. So I'm going to put everything in set and we're going to get started. It doesn't matter how many eggs you use because I'm going to make a lot as you can see in a plate. It's a lot right here. So I'm going to use about six eggs. And we have, so I'm going to put the panko and everything then I'll show you how to do it. So I just have four eggs right here as you can see. Four eggs. Good. I'm going to beat it. You don't need to mix with anything. No spices needed. No salt, no pepper, nothing. So this is basically good if you are not, uh, you are not supposed to eat a, I mean, uh, salt or any spicy thing. It's very good, it's simple and easy. Okay. I'm going to pour some of the all-purpose flour in a pan in my plate. Okay. I have all my purpose flour right here. I'm going to pour, I have leftover panko, but I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use a brand new one so that you guys will know I'm not cheating. <laughs> yeah, so I have leftover, but I'm not going to use it like I said. I'm going to use the one that I just bought, which is brand new. Okay, this is how it looks. It's a brand new panko. This is the whole wheat one. So this is how it looks. So I'm going to, I think I have too much here. So I'm going to scoop some in the box, in the container, because I'm going to mix it with Parmesan cheese. Okay, this is how much I have. And then I'm going to use my two full, full two full hands of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to mix it together. I have my oil heating right here. So we're gonna start um, make, making it. You can make a lot and cover it up or wrap it and put it in the freezer. So to make it, this is my uh, flounder fish. First, you're gonna dip it in the flour. Make sure it's coated back and coated up front. The next is you're gonna dip it into the eggs make sure it's also coated front and back as well okay let me see my oil is nice and warm fantastic so I'm going to take I'm going to take it from the eggs and I'm going to dump it right here into my my panko and also my parmesan cheese all right it's simple and easy very simple you eat in the restaurant and you wonder how they make it this is how they make it it's simple it's easy it's not hard to make it at all now let's put into our flour since the oil is nice and warm okay you don't have to overheat the oil you just have to be a little bit warm to keep it going okay We're gonna leave it to fly. I like it golden brown. Some people also have their preference. Once it's flying, I'm going to make the rest and keep it in the freezer. So I'm going to have my foil here, right here, and then I'm going to make it. Once I'm waiting for uh, the first one in the fire to uh, be ready. right here coat it and I'm going to put this one in a foil since I'm waiting for the first one to be done okay 
we're gonna turn it over and make sure it's well coated. So when you put this in the freezer and you're ready to use it, just take it out, let it toss out, then you just fly it. This is how it look. I'm going to put it in a foil and wrap it. I'm going to make a lot. As you can see, I have a tons of here. So we're going to make it all. Okay. Let me make sure you see it. All right. As you can see, when it's time to turn around or turn it over, you can turn the edges are kind of brown. So since the edges is brown, I'm going to flip it over and let it fry. You can make, if you have a big saucepan, you can make, you know, a lot out of, I mean, at, uh, at a time. It does have to be one. You can make three or four at the same time. It's nice and golden brown. And it's nice and crispy, you know. That's the part I like most. When it's nice and crispy, mm, I love it. Now, let's take it out. This is how it looks. Nice and beautiful. Let me turn the heat off. And this is how it looks. How to make flounder. You can also make tilapia filet and all the other type of filet as well. The same way. Nice ah, and crispy. Ooh. I can't wait. Mm. Delicious. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. It's bye bye for me.